What's up guys and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarender. Man, it's been some time since I did the upload. I'm sorry for that, I have vacation and have a really really good time and I'm glad to finally be back doing this. And uh, well, how to introduce this? I tried to do the mixed tier since a lot of my fucking super friends are doing this right now. I felt that uh, it was a little stale on NU and I really want to try this out. So I tried a different strategy. Mixed tier is basically to try to uh, do a combo that is not viable in lesser tiers, but to try to avoid bringing too many strong folks. What I mean by that is to try to avoid bringing only OU. So you have an arrangement with your opponent that you're going to bring OU, but you're not going to base your team so much around it. So my opponent here, I poke Chuckles, make sure to check him out, I'm going to leave him a link below here. Uh, he's using Trevenant, Slow King, uh, Scissor, Type Lotion, Stantla, and Pilotmon. I didn't expect to leave a Pilotmon to get rocks up. I myself use a Reuniclus, Hyperdawn, Solomon's, Electavire, uh, what's it called? Stoutland, damn it, and Gigalith. Um, so my team is definitely a sand team, and I really want to weather up there. This is something you can't do in a lesser tier, but it definitely works there in conjunction with the lesser tier pokes. So other than that, I decided to go with my Reuniclus because it can wall a physical pokes rather well because it is den defensively vested in a high HP. So let's actually see how that turns out in the battle here. So I did predict right there in the beginning because uh, he will bring his pills fine there, and I myself is going to bring my Reuniclus as I said there. I'm actually going to set up a trick room here because I know we want to get his rocks up and I don't mind it, but I actually decided to switch out. And um, yeah, he got a slow king and I should definitely have thought about this. I thought I was actually slower, so I'm just going to challenge him and go for a shadow ball. He was faster during this trick room and that serve is definitely specced. So after this I just, oh no, I, I can't win this face out here. I need to switch out and get more regenerator going. So I'm going to switch into my Salamence who has resistance to uh, the water moves. Plus, I have some special defensive investment just to keep this thing alive. So it's it's not a regular set. It's a more defensive Salamence with a few troll moves, to say the least. So yeah, I take that rather well. I mean, I, that is not something to be proud of at all. I'm gonna pull a double switch here. Just bring back my uh, Reuniclus because I know he's forced to switch out to try to soak the damage there. And uh, yeah, good face off here. I will definitely be faster during the trick room and go for a Shadow Ball. Do an easy lower 50% plus, very lucky for me getting a special defense drop. He himself will go for the Shadow Claw. And Shadow Claw does around 100 damage almost. So I know I have the leftovers and I can survive another one. Uh, even though the Trick Room is oh, over to say the least. But I actually go for a Will Wisp. Um, try and think that I gotta switch out to something else. But I actually just finishing this guy off with the Shadow Ball because I knew after a special defense drop then that will easily kill. So yeah, right now in a very very good position and uh, I do fear that slow king because he can pretty much dent my team plus I can't set up any more trick rooms because of it because it's slower. So it defeats the purpose of my team really. So I'm just gonna bring in my Chrome B which is my Hyperdone just to get the Sandstream off. Uh, I need a Sandstream to both my Stoutland and Gigalith who both benefits by well, the sand obviously, so I'm just gonna sort of stealth rock there, feeling that, you know, this is probably the key opportunity to do that. Um, so I did expect him to go for a surf fair, but I was also thinking, you know what? Gigalith with Assault Vest plus sand should definitely have the special defense to, you know, take three of those before dying. Right? Right? I... I mispredicted. That did much more than I thought it would, and... Uh, I'm basically just sacking up Gigalith here because I am 5 base slower, so I think Slowking has 13 base, I have 25 and none of us have speed investment obviously, so I pretty much sack it. Uh, going to bring my Stoutland here, who's going to be the hero of this game to say the least. So going for that retaliate just to get some damage off here. And I did expect him to bring the Scissor, but being that I have Life War plus that normal uh, uh, stab there is easily going to do around half. I did fear to be in a mega form, obviously it wasn't. Uh, I actually do a wrong or bad move here, I should not have gone for superpower. I should definitely have gone for a crunch instead, you know, getting a... getting pretty much killing the scissor from that range. So, really a big mistake on my part and I was definitely forced to switch out here. So I'm gonna bring Crombie yet again because I know he's gonna go for a surf another time, but I can't soak it and I need to... Uh, 
I actually I need to get a retaliation hit off again. I know the sloking, like I said, is the biggest threat for me. I have huge trouble getting around it. And um gonna bring this guy once again in here. And well, I at least kill off the scissor right away there. And uh, I still in a range where a wild shot can actually take out the slowpoke because it does around 90% if it isn't defensive invested. So when this comes in here again, I see it has around 95%, so I'm not sure a wild shark will actually take it out. And, well, I got a crit. So very, very unlucky for I poke Shuckles here, because I'll definitely take that one out. But, um, yeah, I feel really bad about that, because I'm not entirely sure I could one-shot it from that range. So, yeah, sorry. And uh, I get the retaliation off here. I was actually sure I was going to take him out. I wasn't. Had I gone for a superpower, I definitely would have killed it because I would have 20 more base after stab. So, huge mistake on my part, actually. And I was almost sure I was going to do another mistake here because I'm going to bring my Electivire. I thought I was faster. I am not. But Hex on my side and he missed the Fire Blast and that is so bad. I was so sure he's going to switch out to his Palace one at this point. That was why I went for Flamethrower. Uh, because I knew a Flamethrower could kill Type Lotion, but I also knew that if I went for... Uh, uh, if I went for um Volt Switch, that Phyllis one will evolve me. So I'm just going for Volt Switch here, obviously, and he will actually go for Retaliation. I do expect this, so I'm going to bring in Oleg, my Salamence, just to get the Intimidate off, because it's, it felt really obvious that was going to happen. I barely hang on, and <laughs> the worst part is this thing got Sucker Punch, and I did not expect that, because um, I definitely needed this Intimidate on uh, Mammoth Swine before it, that making it kill me off. And here I was thinking, you know what, we're probably going to go for a Sucker Punch, and he actually went for a World Cup, and that really sucks for me, because I go for Recover. I should probably dance with him a little here and not try to attack him, because I do believe that he has no real move to actually attack me with. So he did predict me very right there, and um, he's going to finish it off with his Psyjock. Uh, so I only got my Reuniclus left and my Electivire, while he only has the Pill Swine left, or Mammoth Swine, obviously. And, well, at this point, I knew there was no way from, no reason for me to switch out. Uh, so I just go in to try to go for a Trick Room here. Or actually, I went for a Psy Shock. I obviously don't, you know, deal with that well at all. And, uh, well, Squall is in here. I'm just going to go for Flamethrower with Expert Belt. And it falls short, sadly. And another quick will most definitely take out my squall here, without a doubt. And uh, yeah, that will basically be GG. Uh, my elective will do fail here, but his mammoth swine, because of the life orb, will actually fall too. So it is a draw, but he got the win because I did fall first. So, and I actually think, consider how the game went here, that I poke shackle was definitely more of the winner here, considering that I actually had hacks on my side two times, which meant a lot there and uh, really changed the game. So thank you, I poke shackles for this game. I did enjoy it. It was actually really funny, and also very fun to try out a new type of team, really. So yeah, I really thought it was a good game. Um, some wrong prediction on both parts here, and I think uh, it turned out to be an interesting battle because of it. Uh, so I want to thank I poke shackles for that. Says he's a minor pocket tuber, so make sure to check him out. He just have some good ideas while battling, so it's actually very fun to watch him. And uh, other than that, you know, don't forget to leave a like as always, guys, and uh, I'll make sure to try to upload something tomorrow too. So other than that, guys, you know, thank you as always for watching, and have a good day. Alright, guys? Bye.